<laughs> That's how you start? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I, I got nothing else. Like, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Like, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. I don't know. <sighs> um, it's pretty much right that we end on New Year's Eve. Close out. We done. It's good. Drinking. Um, okay. I don't know if you guys watched the previous episode and you watched this or you haven't watched it. Go back and watch that. This is the shit. Agave. This again. Thanks to Ty. Uh, I know you like. Why you think of yourself? No. There's a friend of mine named Ty that actually brought this down, and it been a hit in our our household ever since. That was like two years ago. And yeah, like he said, if you are watching this one first. Pause this, go back to the previous one and watch basically Tequila Talk and you can see us talk about, you know, everything, stuff like that with Gary. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it is fitting to close out with Agave and just send off the new year of 2020. 2020, man. 2020. Everybody was expecting it to be great and uh, a lot of weddings were planned because of the, the, the because it looked good. 2020, oh. it's like woohoo, and it went. I think a lot more than that. <laughs> I think it took a knife. I, I mean, yo, 2020, I would say fucked up a lot of people, a lot of people, blindsided them. I would I would just talk about this like people. I don't know if you remember on Facebook there was like 2020 vision. Yeah, so. It was a vision, maybe not the vision that you had in mind, uh, <laughs> but it was definitely a vision. Like it was definitely something. Um, it definitely opened your eyes up to a lot of different things. Uh, rather it was political, spiritual, racial, um, economics, social status. Like there was a lot of things that 2020 literally did. It, it opened your eyes to a lot of different things. Um, maybe not what you wanted to see, but Again, you saw it anyway. And now at this point, you really can't unsee it. And when I mean unsee it, it is a lot of unjust. Um, I know you was affected by it like a little bit. Um, I mean, I kind of got into it a little bit. Um, I mean, I would say honestly, with the whole, not to sidetrack and go into like the whole racial shit, I would say that, that was the first time I ever saw you got mad about a racial shit. <laughs> that shit like seriously. Like I, I, I was surprised. Like I mean, I, I know that you like hide things, like you know about your emotions, stuff like that, and, and I do too. But I never saw what twenty twenty did to you until I took a step back and like view it from your eyes. Like you were like really hurt from like from certain people that would, they were saying it's like some slick shit. Oh yeah, I, I lost uh, I lost a good amount of friends, quote unquote, quote unquote, yeah. uh, who thought were friends, but. Um, a lot of comments kind of made you go, hmm. wait a minute. Mickey go. Hmm. Yeah. So 2020 showed me uh, open up a lot of eyes and seeing things. Um, I'm, I'm really am, but I'm not a controversial person. Like, no, I, I really don't look for controversial, but once you say something, I'm the person. <laughs> Woo! I wish a motherfucker would, but I try not to be like that. We're, we're matured, you know, we got kids. We try to, oh, we try to make sure our, <laughs> we try to make our kids better than us. I mean, mature, yes, but let a motherfucker, man. Right, we, we try to show, Yeah. No, I try to no. show, I, tr I keep saying the word try, I try, I'm trying. No, no, you, no I, honestly, you, you conduct yourself very well. Like I, I think I went to bat for you multiple times and I, I even caught myself and you know I, I do it positive even you know at, at my house like I was I was about to go in there and I caught myself and then, and it wasn't coming from like like a hurt place like I wanted to bite off like the person's head off it was just like do you even know what you're speaking on like you only like like basically skimming the surface like there's so much underneath that and um, even like there was a, a, a couple of times, not even like with me and you around, there was a couple of clients that was asking me like, am I okay? And I was like, there's two ways I can answer this. And yes, I did pick number two and number two wasn't the subtle way. But um, I was like, basically what you asked me is you, you being affected by this and how do you feel? Cause I'm still black. <laughs> Right. Like I've been black in America all my life, so the shit that you being yeah, this shit don't come off. <laughs> like I I'm not dirty. Like this is just who I am. 
So there was a lot of things like, I, I, I would say 2020 definitely, I would say one helped me to reach my potential, mm -hmm. uh, helped me to see things that I needed to work more on, um, taught me a lot of patience. A lot of patience. A lot of patience. A lot of fucking patience. I mean, I'm, I'm one to be very hot headed um, and I can, truly lose my cool at times and i know people like what well, i i always see be very calm because i have to try to conduct myself in a way that i don't lose control right and i'm looking up a quote i had put up on uh christmas and it says this is not the year to get everything you want this is the year to like appreciate this. everything you have and it's so true it is i just yo well put well put, because a lot of people wanted to make 2020 their year. Yeah. It was like, 2020 is my year. I want to do this. I want to do that. And you locked in your house. Locked in your house. Now, uh, we said in our, on our previous um, episode, but we're also going to bring it up again on our closing. Woo, season three was a, woo. It was a doozy. Um, we're going into the new year. Um, as you New Year's resolution people <laughs> got slapped in the face. I would really like to know what is you what are you expecting for this year? Because for one, let's let's let me say this again. As tomorrow hits the first, things aren't gonna be great. Everybody's like, can't wait for 2021, you know, da 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 blah blah. blah. Just because the clock strikes midnight doesn't mean, boom, everything's better. Cinderella. So I would like to people comment, let, find me on uh, Facebook, Judy Falling. Message me. If you don't want a message on here or whatever like that, message me personally. I, I'm fine. I'll, I've been doing that ever since people comment when we started this. Yep, yep. How you feel about next year? What's your goal? Us, I'll speak on him right now. We don't usually do New Year's resolution things. Nope. So. No point. Tomorrow is another day for me. Another day for me too. Uh, the only thing that's gonna change for me, and it's gonna affect him eventually because I'm going to be loading him up, is I am done training. So once you people uh, start, you know, cause you guys have your resolution and you new trainers are gonna be start training people and people are gonna start taking their friends advice, I'm gonna say it now, cause you know, I'm, I'm big headed like that. You eventually will start coming to ask me questions and want to have advice or want to go for working out at the gym. I will say no, and I will go this way with it. All your questions, your workouts, your, your meal preps, your whatever, I'm done. I will be giving you this way. I am finito. 2020 has affected me because I do most of the traveling. Yeah. Um, a lot of you guys, actually, all of you guys are scared of traveling or scared to go out or scared to do anything, but you're not scared of eating like shit still, but whatever. Um, <laughs> whole nother topic. That's a, let me, yeah. let me, let me not go yeah, there. Cause yeah, then, yeah, you know, that, I'm going to start getting all into it. That's a whole nother topic. But, um, Coach Junior is no longer. Um, yeah, you can still reach out to me. If you do not have Ty as a Facebook friend or Instagram or whatever like that, I would gladly give you the business number and you guys can reach out to him. Other than that, I am done. Finito. See you later. Maybe, no, I'm done. 22. No, 22, nah, no. You're not. I do agree that the, the traveling part was the biggest chunk of it, but you learned a lot with, with this process. I mean, for you to bounce back in the next couple of months, couple of weeks, or next couple of months, um, per se, is it possible? Yeah. Um, but I I do agree by seeing you mold and even develop to, I, I would have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of you just from the, the time that you put into you know, just 2020 with me. Like you, you grown as a person. Like you, you was doing. There was the corporate deal that you set up for me. You like literally set up and closed out Still Hill. Like you did a lot in 20 or actually 19 into 20. 
So you learned a lot. And yeah, the the traveling part was a big part of you generating not just income, but just also just getting your name out there as as a trainer to to know not not saying that you a separate entity, but you was your own thing too. Right. Like you were trying to build your brand up and because of you know people being scared and whatnot, that did affect you. But I do see you, you know, bouncing back in like probably 22 or even like the ending of 21, maybe not as how it was before or even better. Like, you know, pretty much you never know. But I I, I would have to say like, I, I, I do believe even for myself, you know, there, there will be a point and I'm saying this now, there will be a point that I will have to step down and hand over my business so I can continue to keep growing. So. You know, for him to do what he's doing is just natural. Like that's the natural way of life. Like he's not stepping down. He's just moving forward into his own life and his own careers. So, I mean, eventually once I find somebody to, I can delegate over to, you know, my role and in the fitness studio, I will start building up my practice. And I mean, I'm still building up my practice, but I'm not a hundred percent building up my practice because my main focus is my clients. And big, or basically pretty much all of y'all. But um, no, it's, it's it's smart to take a time out to just revamp and stuff like that and basically work on yourself and then kind of bounce back, you know, basically stronger. Because I know, like I said, once once I get somebody to take over truly 100%, I can focus on myself and focus on the practice and just keep moving forward and stuff like that. I mean, 21 for me, not to say I have like a game plan or like a New Year revolution and shit like that, but 20 excuse me, 21 for me is just being happier, traveling, just try to knock that in his head for years. He did. <laughs> now that this pandemic happened and things happened, it, it put a lot of perspective on a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like how, what you're saying, you have to finally in your head, you go, I got to take some time for myself. Yeah. Cause I literally run my ass off and I won't stop. Like I literally won't stop. Like it years, years. And I mean, I hear them. It's just I'm just so used to going. Like just going. Like I give everything the equal amount of time. If I'm with my brother, I give my brother 120%. If I'm at the store, I give my store 120%. Like I don't give like my brother 20% and then I give something else, you know, the the other 80 percent like no i give everything 120 percent. so when i do something i'm only focused on that one particular thing and so i knock that out i go to the next thing but i have 12 months to do everything that i want and there's so much that i want to do like i remember he came to me in the beginning about the podcast he's like oh pretty much you got a podcast i'm like yeah he was like why are you not doing it because i was giving 100 percent 120 percent in a studio i didn't want to go to the podcast and only do like 20 percent like that that's not me. Like if if I do something, I, I wanna do it at the best of my ability. So when you're like, oh yeah, you know, don't worry about it, I'll be more than happy to help you. I'm like, bet, cool. Then so I invest in time. I went to school. I, I literally invest in in film so I can do what we can do and make it look presentable. But again, that's me. But the pandemic gave me that ability to slow down so I can do that. If if the pandemic wouldn't happen. Honestly, I will still be doing what I'm doing. It's it it actually happened for good and a bad for people. Yeah, you know it. it Definitely, yeah. No, across I, the board, I, I across agree. the world, yes, it sucked. But for some people, it actually put in perspective of your life. Definitely. Um, and I'm not trying to tell him or you guys to stop pursuing pursuing your things. You know that's a no. But you do need time to go, woo sa. Um, a day or two or whatever. You, you need time to just give me a month of Wusa. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 just, you just need that. It, no, it, it, it's you not to go all left field with this. You don't know if you're going to wake up in the next hour. Listen, next that, second. That's that's you don't want to say that. You yeah. don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know if you're going to go to bed. And actually wake up. You can have, pl this is my thing, is people start to plan things out next year. And don't even reach next year. And and majority of people don't even reach that. Uh, you know, I, beginning I of this year, yeah, we had like uh, big famous people that passed away. But I had people who passed away who I worked with, who I consider like 
a father to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they were there one second. Gone the next. Gone the next day. And you just went, wait, what? Excuse me. Like, I just talked to you. You know? know? J- just remember about that. Like, I totally forgot. Yeah. Like, there was no I lost two people. health issues, yeah. no whatever like that. It was like, boom. A routine something that happened. Check up. Routine check up with him. A uh, friend of mine went to bed. Didn't get up. That's it. Another one of my friends that I worked with fell in the shower. Sad. Never woke up. You just never know. But my thing is, for you guys who want to be entrepreneurs and 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 or not even entrepreneurs, but you're you're giving your hundred percent in where you work. That's great and all. Um, doing overtime and overtime and overtime and overtime and making that money and chasing that money and chasing that money. Eventually, you, you you know you got to click in your head. You're chasing that one million dollars. Uh, you're 30, 40, 50 years old, and you're not even close. Take a little time for yourself. Plus, you got for people who have kids or don't have kids, or you got animals or whatever. You need time for yourself, or you need time to spend with your family or whatever. Uh-huh. You guys don't. That's just me how I speak. I don't care if you guys take it or not. That's <laughs> no, it's, it's the truth, man. I mean. One thing that it's, it's there's a Japanese story that there was this this businessman that came to this fisherman, and pretty much the fisherman was basically on his boat, you know, sitting there just relaxing in the sun, and pretty much the business guy said, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm relaxing. I'm but you dumped it there." He was like, "Oh, how much did you make?" He like enough to feed my family. He like, "Okay, but don't you want to make more?" He like, "Why?" So the businessman was like, well, if you make more, you can, you know, obviously buy more boats, you know, do more things, make more money. And then he like, for what? He like, well, then you can, you know, have somebody, you know, eventually run the business so you, you can take time to relax. And the fisherman be like, so you want me to do all that to just get back to where I'm at right now? <laughs> and the businessman was like, hmm. I guess so. The moral of the story, we all want the same thing. We want to be comfortable. Right. We want to relax. Whatever that looks like, that's up to you. But everybody that chase money is basically you chasing financial freedom to do whatever you want to do to be free. If you make enough to provide for your family, in a sense, do you have to work even harder to make the extra 20, 30, 40, 50,000? Yeah, it might sound right or it might sound good. But at the end of the day, you're doing exactly what you were doing to be able just to relax. And even that, like you said, let's say that you made an extra 50 or even 60 grand a year. Would you actually be around to actually enjoy that money? I, yeah, it's, it's a it's an up and an, up and a down thing for certain people um, like people that I, I, I know who are in the industry that I am. I'm, I'm not in the fitness industry 100 percent. I don't know if a lot of people know that. But there's people who go, you got to work this overtime because when you retire at at uh, 70, you be all set. So you want me to work my ass off day in, in your day out in my 30s to think about when I'm 70 to retire and actually do something. Motherfucker, I might not even be alive. If people who know me, I'm on a constant go. My wife drives me nuts because she said, you got to sit down. I... And I say this to him because I go through it and I know I'm a constant fucking go mode. Mm -hmm. But I know in my life now to go, breathe, relax, Ah. have a drink (laughs) or a cigar or a cigar. (laughs) Catch that episode or both or both. Our number one viewing is uh, was was our number one viewing that we have. Say no to chicken legs. Let's keep that going up. That's 120 views, dude. I want that to keep going up. Say no to chicken legs. 120 views. Um, season four, we'll see how that goes with 2021. Uh, season three, we kind of, things kind of stretch out a little bit because of things happening and what's going on and, you know, the, the the business and the practice he's doing and things like mm-hmm. that. I don't know if a lot of people know he has a business and we're in the practice. 
two separate entities. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He's been grinding. And a lot of people don't understand that. You still have to grind, but you still have to have time for yourself. Mm -hmm. You are, if you are an entrepreneur, you know the grind. You have to grind. There's no days off, but you have to take a day for yourself. That's true. It's hard to concept what I'm saying, people, but you it's people bad. who got common sense know what I'm talking it's, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my biggest breakthroughs is when I'm not doing that. Like if if I'm at home or if I'm with him or if, if I'm in the car, my biggest I guess breakthroughs and just ideas comes when I'm not doing anything, when I'm not in my practice, when I'm not at the studio, like when I'm just bullshitting with him or if I'm taking a drive, like things come to me when I'm free. Yes. If 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 I'm in a constant go mode, I get bombarded with the everyday life, the everyday tasks of making sure that my practice is going to make sure that the, the business is up and running, making sure that I'm answering email and whatnot and stuff like that. And still trying to be a father and, and still trying to be a partner, just juggling life. But when I when I like you said, stop, that's when the the creative juices come into play. That's when I'm like, oh, wow, well, let me just invest in this for like you know 25 minutes and learn this and i could probably do this into the production or let me pick up this book and read this and stuff like that when you take time for yourself that's when you get the i guess the biggest breakthroughs or for me i i would say i, I can't say right away but for me that's when i get the biggest breakthrough like it's I will always say that i am a hustler i i, I will i will probably die a hustler like that's just me um, but 2020 definitely taught me to be patient, to listen sometimes. Keyword sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen sometimes. Um, and at the end of the day, always follow your heart. No matter what, follow your heart. Your heart would never steer you wrong. Even if it doesn't make sense to everybody else around you, just follow your heart. If you did not know how to hustle in 2020, you are not a hustler. Yeah, shit. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, Yo, it, it, must, know how yeah. To it, it sounds messed up, but if you are not a hustler, like if you were affected by 2020 and you didn't pick up a hustle or, or something to make some cash on the side or whatever, it's not in you to be a hustler. Nope. I, I understand there's some people who are essentials that still had to work. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I'm not talking to you guys that we're still working your nine to fives or nine to ten, nine to whatever. You know what I'm saying? But Around the clock. I'm talking with people who got affected by this and government wasn't giving you that assistance right away. And you had to figure out how to put food on this goddamn table yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you did what you had to do to go get it. Mm -hmm. You ha This didn't teach you anything. Then you don't have it for me this is what i'm gonna tell you this is what i'm gonna tell you if it didn't teach you how to be a hustler or with this pandemic didn't teach you how to take care of yourself fuck you i'm just sorry to say it like but a better word it's, yeah. just, it's just it like a better word um yeah. if this didn't teach you to go all right you know i gotta take care of myself i gotta eat better i gotta take my a lot of people don't recommend vitamins but if you, you know i don't drink enough water, I don't have enough milk, I don't drink enough orange juice, but I got, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna have my vitamin D pills and C pills or fish oil or whatever. If, if this did not teach you to do that, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm sorry. And I can say this, but I don't fucking care. I would drink to that. And come 2021, me not being a fucking trainer and I could be straight up blunt with you, cause I don't give a fuck. You need to get your ass up and do something instead of sitting on that couch eating bonbons and fucking doing nothing and talking shit while your kid is over there waiting for you to go throw the ball at them, but your fat ass can't walk outside before losing a breath. But you scared yeah. of, oh my God, I might get COVID and die. You're Shut your lazy dying. ass up. Yeah, like being overweight, you slowly dying. Like that's really the fact in the matter of the, at that. Being overweight, like you are slowly digging yourself into a like uh, actual early grave. Oh yeah. So, because I could come like this next year with some quotes and comments, because he could, but he can't 100. percent I'm about to go in 150 with you, motherfuckers. Oh shit. 
<laughs> well, with that said, I will drink to that. You do your thing, and we will call 2020 a duel. <laughs> so, we will see you in 21. I definitely hope that 2020 was a good year for you. If not, listen, tomorrow is a new day. If you wake up tomorrow, you have the, the full opportunities to do whatever that you want to do. Don't, don't make it a waste. Get up, do something about it. So I'll let this man do what he do best. Take it off. Um, salute to you guys. Wiggity wiggity, we out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get subscribers up. Let's do our thing. Deuces. <laughs>